For 20 years, after the assassins defeated the Templars in London, the city enjoyed a certain peace until the Autumn of Terror. In 1888, London is plunged into shadow and fear by a series of gruesome and unsolvable murders. The brothels of Whitechapel seem warm and safe by comparison to its streets, where prostitutes are being mutilated and left on grotesque display for the world to ogle. Jacob Fry hunts the elusive killer to bring an end to the terror of Jack the Ripper. Get a move on, Mr. Finch. This is the story of a lifetime. Mr. Weaversbrook, I know you have more of the Ripper's letters. I told you to stay away from me. Stop publishing his letters. You've turned an unknown miscreant into a legend, and that's exactly what he wants. Jacob, thank God I found you. It's the Ripper. He's done it again. Oh, we can't. And Lizzie, not both, not in one night. Nelly, remember what I said. Now go. <laughs> How many more assassins must die before you see the truth? Only one more, Jack. You should have believed, Jacob. Now, I will hunt you down. I know you're there, Jack. The Master of Terror's afraid to show himself, is he? I am your shadow, Jacob. I will gut every last one of them if that's the quickest way to you. I need only follow your scent, the scent of a wounded animal. There is nowhere you can hide from me. Jack. Come and kill me! This is not our way. This is my turn. You cannot escape me. Let's 
scurry back to your hole, little mouse. Going somewhere, Jacob. Jack. You're sick. See the irony, brother. Jack. Only you know who the Ripper is. But you can't tell a living soul because it would destroy you and the assassins. No, 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 no! Jack. We can fix you. Fix me? I am the solution. <laughs> Miss Fry? Inspector Aberline. Why exactly have you had me escorted here? My men and I have been hunting the Ripper around the clock for months now, and we've nothing to show for it. At least nothing I can tell the public. What's the Ripper to do with me? My brother has had me summoned here from India. Can't this wait? As far as I know, you may be the last assassin in London. What do you mean? Where's Jacob? I wish I knew. Your brother is nowhere to be found, even as an elusive shadow is committing the most hideous crimes the city has ever seen. And you believe this is no coincidence? The killer is selective and dispassionate and has left not a single trace of his passage. I have seen such a talent for assassination and avoiding detection only once before, when I worked with the two of you. And that is why your brother summoned you before he disappeared. You think Jacob is dead? I dare not believe it. But if he is, you may be the only person who can stop the Ripper now. Follow me. When are you going to stop that monster? I'll take you to the site where the Ripper first struck. The journalists always seem to get the word first. We get there. They've trampled the evidence, and next day's headlines are dripping with blood. The few hundred yards between Flower and Dean Street have become so dangerous that even my best constables are afraid to patrol Whitechapel at night.
Let's take a carriage, shall we? I'd rather not get egg on my face again today. What has become of this borough? Whitechapel is a cesspool of crime, Miss Fry, where terror reigns supreme. Elsewhere, the rich get richer, but here, the poor are living on the living, fighting to survive each day. Reporters share a view of Whitechapel as a lair of savages, monsters, and werewolves who hold honest citizens in a state of terror. The Ripper's terror. We are not far from where Mary Ann Nichols was murdered. I knew her as Polly, and that's what her friends called her. But the woman who died here is not the woman I met a few times at the frying pan pub. Then who was she? I was hoping you could tell me. Go see for yourself. This is where the Ripper committed his first murder. Was Miss Nichols' body identified? Her husband hadn't seen her in 11 years. He barely glanced at the poor, mutilated woman before he had the gall to forgive her for what she'd done to him. Reported widely that Miss Nichols' finger bore the mark of a ring. It was forcibly removed, and the same is true for his other victims. Give me a moment. I found Miss Nichols' ring. An assassin's ring. She must have tossed it away during the struggle. A desperate act to protect the Brotherhood. You think they were targeted? Yes. And the newspapers are accusing the police, me, of letting the first city of the world lapse into primeval savagery. I must take my leave, Miss Fry. I have other business in Whitechapel. Good day, Inspector. Thank you for your discretion. I'll need to tackle Jack's influence over the gangs in London. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 